Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this Mother's Day cake. For today, I'm starting off with this 8 inch cake and I'm using a cake mix box for this. I'm going to be using this pretty cool tool to, you know, level my cake and get three layers out of this. Once I've done that, I'm just going to take the top layer and the, like, the bottom one and I'm just going to choose which one looks prettier for this cake. This is going to be a naked cake. So I chose the bottom part and I'm going to be working with that one. I'm going to be using my cookie cutters and pretty much working with this as if it was like cookie butter or something. But I need to um, cut out the word mom. The O is going to be hard and then the two M's. I'm using cookie cutters as I mentioned before. And yeah, I'm just going to push that in and then take the shape away from the cake. And I'm just going to carefully uh, put this aside. For the bottom layer, I'm going to be doing this border that is called, I think, a shelf border. I'm going to be using uh, some buttercream. I do have the recipe on my channel and I'm using Wilton's 1M and my cheapless piping bags. For the filling, I'm using the same buttercream and then with the spatula, I'm just going to be uh, smoothing the whole thing. Next time though, I'm going to be using some other filling, like more fresh, like fruity one or just something else because I felt like it needed something else. So once I have the bottom layer, I'm going to be putting the middle layer on top and I'm going to be pretty much doing the same thing that I did on the previous one. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to be topping this with the top layer, which is the one that has mom on it. Being really careful of not breaking that layer because it's really thin and, and it has some cutouts all over. Then I went with my Wilton tip number 18. I colored my buttercream in pink. I use the same kind of technique that I use on my border, like the um, shelf border, but unlike the letters M. And then as far as for the heart in the middle, I didn't really know what to do. And as you can see, I made some rosettes first and then I didn't like them. Then I went with my spatula and just uh, smooth the whole thing. I didn't really know what to do because I wanted it to be a, a naked cake, as I mentioned before, but it, uh, it felt really simple like this. It felt like it needed something else. I just grabbed some fondant. I do have a review on this one on my channel. Colored some pink and some green, and I'm just going to be making some roses out of this. These roses are pretty simple. First, I'm going to be working on the leaves. I'm using a mini leaf cookie cutter. I'm using my roller and I'm just cutting out some fondant leaves. And to add some texture, I went ahead with my DIY uh, scribe tool. You can use a toothpick as well, but it's pretty handy to have these uh, kinds of tools around. You just clean them once you're done. As opposed to a toothpick, you have to throw away. Then as far as the rosettes go or the roses, I'm just going to be grabbing a small piece of like fondant and I'm just going to roll it and then squeeze it towards my hand and I'm just going to roll it like this. Almost like if you were making cinnamon roll, kind of like that. So yeah, these roses are pretty easy and simple to make. Later on, I'm going to be showing you how to make like more realistic kind of roses, but I think this look cute as well. I'm going to be using some water to just uh, glue the leaves with the roses. Less is more when it comes to water acting as glue. So just try to work with the least amount of water that you can use. So in some cases, I'm just going to glue the rose on top of the leaf just like this. And with some of the roses, I'm going to be using toothpicks. It's going to be making more sense in a minute. I'm going to be putting the leaf first through the toothpick, adding some water and then the rose. And then I'm just going to let them dry upside down. And so to decorate my cake, my naked cake, I'm going to be putting these flowers on top of it, like everywhere. The ones that I didn't use a toothpick on, I'm just going to glue them to the cake uh, using the buttercream. So the buttercream is going to be what holds this roses in place. These roses are super easy and simple to make and they add something really cute to the uh, cake. That's what I think, at least let me know if you have the same feelings about them. And this is the first time that I make these kinds of like naked cakes. These are pretty cool and easy to work with, but your cake has to look pretty because you're not covering the cake with any buttercream. It's just the cake itself. And this is the first time as well that I work with uh, fondant as far as the cooking goes, and I loved it. This is the idea that I wanted to share with you for Mother's Day. Hopefully you like it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Happy Mother's Day to you. And if you want to make this for your mom, this is really good and easy to make. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff. I upload every week. Click on the bell and share this. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll take you later and take care. Bye guys.